Nanaya. Yes. Are you protesting today? You're in uh -huh. red and black too. Ah. No, me be sharp. You are protesting. Ah, sharp. Why not? I'm dressed for it. I have my my. You are dressed for it. Yes. yes. I have my trainers in my car. So. You have your trainers in your bag. Yes. I see. So. But you see, good morning to everybody. Good morning to my sisters here. Good morning. Is it Ajua? Ekua. Uh, Ekua. Good morning. I have a niece called Ekua. Good morning to Auntie. Good morning, Good morning to my Louisa. Good morning to you. Good morning to Ghana. You see, now you keep asking the question that government has not responded. Are you sure they have not responded? What's the response? Ah, it is the arrest. <laughs> you don't know that the arrest me. they have responded telling you that don't go close to this galam say matter that's the response you 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 are deciphering from no the but my dear what is the meaning of the arrest and everything that is the that that is the response straight and simple they're saying that the arrest is because of the acts of unlawlessness my dear you see and, and of lawlessness and not because of the protest please, we itself. went to an an evening with a um, honorable alan chairman if you tell me the arrest is not a response, then I have a problem. Because government hasn't said anything about the yeah. arrest. And these people are Ghanaians. And we need to also process the argument very well. The people were remanded by a court of competent jurisdiction. And if you are remanded, you are remanded based or if, if you are jailed, based on your charge sheets. So they have been placed before court. But what was in that charge sheet? We had an evening with um, Honorable Alan Chemerton. And he said something. I mean, marvelous evening. He said something. He said he is surprised that the police was with the protesters the first day, the second day. And you charge them with unlawful assembly. Why is that so? <laughs> you are with us and you say unlawful assembly. They were also unlawful. Do you get me? How can you be with a group of people who have assembled unlawfully? So the response that we are getting from government is the arrest. Telling you that don't go close to Galamsey. But you see, government will also get its response. It's unfortunate that it will affect citizens. On the 10th of October, TUC says that they are going on a demonstration. They are going on strike. On a strike, a protest, a strike. Do you get me? That is a dangerous thing. I mean, anytime TUC say they are going on a strike, I look at medicine and education. Pretty much everything, transportation, don't be too everything. Sure. Pardon? Yes. I don't be too sure. That they will go. They are already speaking well, too. Uh, no, so the point is that, <laughs> the point is that these are the two things that I always feel that what is going to happen to medicine to help. And talking about medicine, we send our prayers to um, Asante Bedi, to the secretary, to the president, that is responding to treatment. I guess maybe he's a colibu, because if he's responding to treatment, I guess he's a colibu or UGMC. I, I thought they, they said he was not yes, in the country. Uh -huh. So if he's not in the country, that is it. You see, Louisa was talking about the fact that organs and function, we are going to die. What do you mean? Mercury, cyanide, cyanide, all these chemicals. We are not talking about body function. If you have body issues with your sperm, at least you are alive. You can adopt. You have issues with your kidney. You'll be begging around to do dialysis. You'll survive. But what about if you die? What about because they don't care when they are sick, they don't go to hospital in Ghana. They don't. They drink perrier water. Auntie was saying that there is no... Ghana has imported water. Go to the American shops. Yes, there is imported water yes. in Ghana. And that is what they can buy and drink. They don't care about us. You see, this government has turned the democracy into an autocracy. We are in a democracy that is an autocracy. How is that? How is that an autocracy? Please, do we have to tell you? Because they do what they want. They don't think about us Ghanaians. If they really thought about us, they would declare a state of emergency and ensure that this Galamse issue is dealt with. Look at the statements from their own people. Dr. Friye, my brother, I was just disappointed in what he said. A medical doctor who knows the effect of mercury and cyanide. 
a medical doctor, not an ordinary person. He's gone to school for five years. He's, I, I believe if he wasn't in politics, maybe his level would be a consultant. Not a resident, a consultant. He's saying that they are not going to stop Galamse today, tomorrow, forevermore. Do you understand? And I was highly disappointed. That let it come from an ordinary person who knows nothing about medicine. Who knows nothing about human anatomy. Let it come from somebody, not a medical doctor. You see, they are not prepared to let it go. It is making them rich and they are thinking about their elections. That if they do that, they will lose in the Galamse areas. But in 2020, did they lose? Did MPP lose the election? Or they lost and they, didn't, they did something and they won? Because I don't see why they are saying that they will lose. Based on Galamse. So even if you do the right thing by Ghanaians and you lose, and so what? What will then happen? At least you have left a legacy that you fought Galamse and you lost. It is a good legacy. Nelson Mandela went to prison for 27 years and at the end of the day, South Africa is now free from apartheid. So somebody should sacrifice for somebody. Somebody, they should die a little for Ghanaians to live. The MPP should know that they should die a little. Now, now the reason Apa is saying that Baumia is the best person because he's going to continue the transformation agenda. Transformation in debt. Who will be alive for him to come and transform? When we have Galam, look at our waters, look at our forests, look at our river bodies. They don't care. Out of how many regions, I've heard 14 regions in, in, in this country, there's Galamse everywhere. Now, Shoko, can you just imagine that we are approaching our deaths openly, as if you have been put on death row, and you know when you are going to die, it is approaching gradually, slowly, and you are always thinking about it. Today, when I was batting and water entered my mouth, I said, hey, <laughs> what kind of water has entered my mouth? These days, I try to use uh, sachet water to brush my teeth. But even that one, the, the one that we even drink, sachet water, do you know where it is coming from? Look at the woman who said that they use alum to clean the water. Do you know the dangers? To prepare a cheque. To pre prepare a cheque. Me too, yeah. I like a cheque. You like a cheque. Nashoko. That was very disturbing. I am telling that is not the only disturbing yeah. one. It is all over the place. Our water has become like mad, and you don't care. You are doing politics with this. That is why I'm saying that this government they've turned a democracy into an autocracy. Auntie said that they went to visit the protesters who have been jailed, and they could not see them. Why? Why? And they've been moving around as if we are in a janta. You see, these things happen in a janta. We are not in a janta. Do you get me? This is very disgraceful. This is very disrespectful. In a country like Ghana in 2024, yeah. people are being treated like we are in a janta. That we are in a revolution. That as if there is a coup. That you move people around from place to place, from center to center, from corner to corner. Wickedness. Let me let me come to Doctor Ekoa now. Um, your your so microphone, your sound has been restored. Why are you giving my time back to me? I've what timed everybody. You. I will say. I'm I thought you were you. done. What, you, how did you think? You cut me. No, you stop talking. How is that? That's not talking. Okay, you end. Uh, how can I? You cut me. You end. Make your point. What point am I making? Your point was well made. Your point was well made. Thank you, Nanaya. 